Yes, it's me, man. Get in the hair gang today. Listen, breaking news. Breaking news. Hot off the press. Shefet is coming to New York and to Boston. You can believe that, though. Look, let me tell you something. Pandemonium in the place, boy, for these three days. Well, Shefet in town in New York and in Boston. And the Barbarians over there and all the tourists who just come to Barbados and get a taste of Shefet. They are going to be in, in, you know, fast food heaven over the next couple of days. No, you see me, Margaret Linda. Let me tell you something. I got a favorite story, a Shafet travel story. Let me tell you something. Now, years ago, not that many though, by the way, you know, my daughter up in Texas called me up and said, Dad, you know, I'm pregnant and, you know, I am craving for some Shafet. Well, I call up the boss man there. The boss man organized some chefette, some oversized chefette rotis. Had them flash freeze for market. And he packed them in and he went to Vegas all the way along the lines. They got to make sure I got, you know, refrigerators to put these things in. All the week in Vegas, same thing. And then carried them all the way into a little town called Wimberley in Texas to hand over these things. I believe I saved that baby. Never touch something with them chefette rotis. <laughs> they should have really named me Ryan. Huh? Here we're telling you. Yes. But the sweetest story, though, even sweeter than that. Years ago, few years ago, maybe seven, eight years ago, going to New York and I make the mistake of calling my nephew who going to meet me there at the airport and ask, you want me to bring anything for you and the wife? Huh? And you know what I want? They tell me bring 50 Shafet rotis. I say, excuse me, you want me to bring how many? 50. Huh? So, you know, you see a boy, I had to call the big man again. Huh? Get these things here, flash freeze. My whole Pullman was nothing but Shafet rotis. Huh? I get to now Kennedy Airport. Huh? I got nothing to declare. I really had nothing to declare. That's the truth. You know, I going to visit me mother and, 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 and me sister and brethren. Huh? And I going through now New York Airport, clear immigration. And I look up and I realize that everybody by going through a scanner. I say, well, look at trouble now. Look at trouble. Look at this immigrant, this custom swarm. I say, well, I got here, so nothing to declare. No food. Yeah, but you know, there's food. Oh, one of this going to work out. Well, let me tell you something. The big bag gone through, and then the pullman gone through. Huh? Market standing on the opposite side now, looking nervously at it. And I see the men who sort of look at the camera, pull back, and they're looking back and forth, going forward, coming back. I get real nervous now. I said, look at trouble now. Look how I can get percent out of the people country. And I ain't even, all I do is try to do a favor for somebody. Hey, hey, look at market, can get in trouble now. Because see headlines in the paper back home. Huh? Market, when they get arrested at the airport for bringing in, you know, rotis. <laughs> Look, let me tell you something. I stand up now waiting for the bag on the opposite side. And the man back and forth looking at it, looking at it. And then finally, a man come over to me. And the man asked me, well, what is these inside here? I said, I have rotis. And bring them for my nephew and for his wife. Uh, here, a trendy fella now. A trendy fella working in U.S. Customs. He tell the man, no, 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 man. That's, that's just fast food, partner. That's, that's just fast, fast food. Hmm? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they let the fast food pass through. Last, let me tell you something. Please, no relative, distant or close. No in-laws or outlaws. No friends or former friends. Do not ask market vendor ever coming into the United States of America to bring your Chevette rotis for you. If you want Chevette roti, try and get up on a plane and come down here and go to Rockley and enjoy them yourself. Can you see me? I nearly get put away for that there, so, huh? I'm only a market vendor, but let me tell you, 50 rotis. And you know what the brooks do? Huh? They cut them in half and then they put them in the freezer so that they can eat them sparingly. The problem is that they got the taste for Chef. Chefette roti is so bad that they couldn't, do, they couldn't really keep up with, it, with, it, with you know, the little piece here now and a little piece in a few days. But then about two weeks time, them had all 50 of them, they so damn polished off. So I don't know that them going to buy out everything in New York, buy out everything and they're going to follow it up to Boston too as well. I'm only a market vendor. <laughs> I go off for now. You have a blessed and a wonderful day. You hear? <laughs>